Good evening, everybody. I want to give you fair warning on uh, one thing before we get started here, and that is that we've been having some big time storms here in the last little bit. So if for some reason uh, we should get knocked offline, um, hang tight and just know I will bring it back up as soon as I can. I mean, thus far, I haven't had any problems. I haven't lost uh, power today, but we have been having some nasty little storms, so it's always a possibility. So we have got a couple of different things happening tonight. We've got uh, some baseball up first, and then the rest of the night is football. But our very first break of the night is a 16-box case of Topps Inception Baseball. Now, the folks that are here for football, before you freak out and say, oh my gosh, it's a 16-box case, we're going to be here forever, you're really not. It's, it's, a, it's a quick break, relatively speaking. There's only a, a handful of cards in each box, and it won't take us very long at all. So you'll see, of course, there's our quantity. That makes a case. This is the third time we have broken uh, 17. I didn't write in there 17. I should have written that in there. Uh, first time we have broken. Third time. Good grief. Third time we have broken Topps Inception Baseball in the case quantity. So that's what that number three designation means. And then, of course, our end date is tonight. Live stream schedule is here and now. Our winning bidders are down the left-hand side. Our teams are down the left-hand side. Our winning bidders are down the right-hand side. And we do have one, I should point this one out, Boston Red Sox right here. Uh, the person who bid on that and bid on it like four or five times, uh, of course, you know, naturally uh, then doesn't want to pay for it after the auction ends because that's the way that kind of stuff goes. So it was sold uh, via second chance offer to uh, Elst, E-L-S-T, Mish. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to say your username, but that's how we're saying it. <laughs> so, so that is why that one said second chance buy it. Now, let's get this case out of here and get started on this. So, of course, after we finish um, the Inception Baseball, we'll break the football in the order that it ended on eBay. And, of course, we will also put up the spreadsheet before each... Uh, each break so everybody will have a chance to take a look and see their see their teams and keep track of all that I'm gonna have to pick this case up and shake some of these boxes out of there because they are really they put them in there you know tight in that case they won't leave you a lot of extra room to kind of reach down in there and get them which is really a good thing because that means you know it's in there very securely we don't have to worry about it being tossed around in transit so first I'm gonna take all the packs out each of these boxes has well like right now each of these boxes are getting ready to careen over onto the side of the table um, <laughs> each of these boxes has one pack in it so we're gonna first get into all 16 boxes and get our packs out and then that way once we start breaking we can just bust right through it I don't know why we have a little, I guess, I don't know what that was about. It was a weird little, uh, weird little something there on the bottom of the screen. So I was just trying to make sure that you had the right view, uh, what you were, what you were seeing. So I don't know if any of you guys, uh, um, hi Mike, Prime Signatures. Oh no, that was one of the, if you're asking about Prime Signatures football, that was one of the last things that we had listed i think um and i'll have I, honestly i would have to pull up the, sp the spreadsheet to give you the exact order uh i know we have a jersey a football jersey we have tops finest from 2009 um we have a 2010 plates and patches this is not necessarily in the right order and then i i believe the very last break of the night will be the 2011 prime signatures because um, they will, I do almost, I almost always break in the order that the auctions end on eBay. Very, every once in a while, I'll do it out of order. Like if I have just a helmet or a jersey sitting behind a bunch of case breaks, you know, I'll do the helmet or the jersey first. But otherwise, we kind of, kind of roll with them the way that they ended. So I, honestly, I wish I could remember the exact order they ended in, but, but I don't. But I am pretty sure that. 
11 prime signatures is going to be bringing up the tail end of it. So um, I don't know how many of you, I know at least a few of you were in on the case breaks we did the other night of this. We did uh, one of them sold Tuesday night, the night before release, and one sold Wednesday night, the night of release. And we broke them both, one right after the other, on release day. And the first case we opened was incredible, really. I mean, we pulled some, not not just one. We pulled two, three, four really nice cards out of it. And out of the second break, we also pulled some nice cards out of the second case as well. But the first case was just kind of really phenomenal. So I'm hoping that we're going to have another case like that tonight where we're all just kind of ooh and ah through the whole thing. Because, of course, that's always what we want. Always want to find big hits and the, the big money cards for you. And they're definitely in here. I mean, uh, there's definitely some very nice hits in Inception. And I'm so glad that I ordered what I ordered because beyond, you know, this is our third case, I've got another five or six cases on hand that will be listed in the days ahead. In fact, I just got one. One should be up or maybe finished by now. That'll break on Friday because it's, it's sold out everywhere. I can't get it anywhere at this point. So I'm glad that I ordered a bunch up front so we can have some fun with it. All right. So we have got, uh, of course, our base cards. Why is that backwards? Some one card is backwards. That's kind of weird. Um, our base cards do come in parallels. Uh, of course, the green parallels are not numbered. I believe all the other parallels are. So there's an example of the green one that is not numbered. Then we have our purple parallel numbered to 150. Another green. And then our hit here is Ronaldo Lopez, our first hit out of this case for the Chicago White Sox. And it is numbered to 249. And I think I might have been holding that, holding that up of... A little bit at the wrong angle there. I tried to adjust the camera angle tonight to make it a little bit easier, and I think then I was holding the card a little lower than I than I maybe should have been. So we'll get it right this time. Sorry about that. Thank goodness we did catch that and got the mat down there. But there's uh, D. Gordon for the Marlins, number two fifty. Now, I call that the orange parallel, but sometimes I go back and forth with tops, whether they're supposed to call it orange or gold, but I'm calling that one orange to 50. There's Matt Harvey green parallel, not numbered. Joe Musgrove is our next hit up, and the Musgrove is numbered to 75 for the Astros. know why some of these are the other pack was not in the other case was not this way where some were facing one direct I don't know they've got it kind of got it kind of weird I was in a rhythm the other day just pulling the base cards forward and now there's some of them kind of facing the opposite direction green parallel on the Hernandez there's a Mike Trout to 99 and we boy we pulled some nice Mike Trouts the other night too so we know we we know he's got some good cards in here Luis Severino for the Yankees with the patch and autograph numbered to 199. And so far, everything I've seen with the patch in Inception has been a sticker auto. I haven't yet seen any on-card autos that also have a patch with them. So the non-patch cards have all uh, are all on-card. So. I'm going to assume that it's going to be that way throughout, that we're only going to have uh, sticker autos on the cards with a patch. Uh, Blake Snell to 99 for the Rays. We have green unnumbered parallel, and our hit is Manny Margot for the Padres, numbered to 99. And while I'm thinking about it, this uh, look for this to ship out... Um, Probably the majority of this will go out on Wednesday. It's possible some could go Tuesday, and it's possible if you could slide into Thursday, but I'm looking for the majority of this to go out Wednesday, just to kind of give you an idea. And I do print the labels through eBay or PayPal, so you should get a shipping notice when the label is printed. There's Michael Fulmert, numbered to 150 for the Tigers. 
for sale and our hit here oh that's nice uh there's your alex bregman for the astros it is numbered to 199 of course obviously we always like to see the low number hits but still uh that's a nice hit for the astros with the bregman rookie auto so far so good of course, somewhere in here, we will have one of the silver signings cards. Those are case hits, so there is one per case on the silver signings. This is to 150 on the Dozier for the Twins. Next up for the Padres, we have Hunter Renfro. And once again, that is a patch and sticker auto. It is numbered to 149 on the Renfro. Let's get our base. Rolling around here. I don't know why they don't just put the hits the last in the pack, right? I mean, because that's how we always try to reorganize them to fall that way anyway. Numbered to 75 on the Donaldson parallel. And our hit. Oh, look at that. The Yanks are cleaning up on Severino. Uh, this one to 50. What was our other one to? Where did our other, where is our other? Severino was a patch. Um, and it was to 199. Okay, so of course we'll recap all this anyway. But uh, I was just curious. I couldn't remember what the what the other Severino was numbered to. So another nice hit for the Yanks. Of course we know you're looking for Aaron Judge, and hopefully we're going to find an Aaron Judge for you. But in the meantime, it's uh, Severino is uh, still a good hit for you, Yankees. Jackie Bradley Jr. to 150. Our hit is for the Tampa Bay Rays, Blake Snell. And that's a really nice patch. This is numbered to 50. And that's a really nice looking card. You know I like to get a good materials hit. And that's a really nice one. So nice Snell for the Rays, numbered to 50. That's like one of the trouts we pulled the other day was uh, a nice patch like that. There is Blake Snell again, speak of the devil. And well, well I guess I added those in there upside down, didn't I? Carlos wrote on uh, to 150 in the purple parallel. And our hit here, I think that stack's getting too tall. Our hit here is Jake Thompson for the Phillies to 299. So far in this one, we're pulling a lot of uh, a lot of rookie hits. Of course, not everything in here is rookies. We do have our young stars in here as well, like Mike Trout and Chris Bryant and some of those. This is number two seventy-five for the White Sox. Our hit is for the Dodgers, Julio Urias. And that is also a really nice patch, and that one's numbered to 25. Uh, so nice hit, Dodgers, with your material and low number to 25. Well, which way is the right way? That way. I don't know why I can't get it down with this, because they're these are just in the pack different, and so they're, I don't know, I can't quite get it down. And, of course, with the Mets... Cindergard, I think that was, but they all have that long kind of like metal band hair, so I probably should have paid more attention to the name. This is to 99, George Springer. You know what it is about the Mets and their pitchers with long hair. Uh, there's our Aaron Judge, base rookie and emerging star magenta parallel. So that, of course, is going to go to the Yankees. We will checklist verify it momentarily, but I think we all know that is going to the Yankees. And that's, uh, we pulled an Aaron Judge out of um, one of the cases. I think the second case uh, that we did on Wednesday night had an Aaron Judge redemption in it as well. So maybe all of his, maybe all of his cards in here are going to be redemption. I don't know. There's Mr. Chris Bryant, numbered to 150 in the purple parallel. Oh, I see our silver signing is coming up. This is our case hit. And it is, oh, nice. It's a Benintendi. Uh, to 99. Our other case uh, hits for Silver Inception have not been rookie hits, so that's a very nice Benintendi for the Red Sox, so congrats on that. Um, 
And if I'm recalling correctly, I believe that's our team where the buyer didn't pay and it was a second chance offer. So, so see, the universe is rewarding you for uh, picking up that team after buyer number one flaked out and decided not to buy it. So you got rewarded with the nice uh, silver signings, Ben and Tendi. So thank you again for picking that team up. We have Jake Lamb to 50 for the Diamondbacks. And our hit is uh, Orlando Arcia for the Brewers to 99. Got three left. I'm trying to think, I can't remember what the, if we should have another patch or not. I didn't keep a, a good count on the first two cases. I know there's always three or four patches, but I can't remember if there are more than four. So I guess we're about to find out. If there are or not, whoops, hang on there. I got going a little fast and almost left Matt Harvey behind, which I guess works out okay since he only shows up for games and practices part of the time. There's another Severino. This one to 75. And our hit is tie block for the Giants, numbered to 299. Hi, Robs. How are you? Oh, and hi, Justin. I see you. You've jumped into chat as well. Hi, guys. We are, we'll be uh, rolling into some football as soon as we uh, wrap up our Inception Baseball break here. That is numbered to 150. Pretty much all the purples are going to be numbered to 150, basically. And there's Bryce Harper in the green parallel. And there's Jose Altuve to 50. Used to play with the Lexington Legends, minor league team here in town. Seth Lugo for the Mets, numbered to 299. And our last pack, which represents our last box in the Inception case break. So let's hope for another big money hit in here, right? We'd like to have another big hit. And this parallel is to 99. And I really, you know, I call that hot pink. Obviously, Tops doesn't call it hot pink. They call it something else. I don't remember what they call it, but I call it hot pink. And then we have Matt Olson for the A's to 299. So let me set our hits over here. We're going to review them. And I'm going to move our others down, down the way here so it can go into the staging area where I will sort it and get it all ready to go after the break tonight. We do want to go ahead and move those out of the way so that we can have some space to do our other breaks momentarily. And let me just uh, checklist verify Aaron Judge. Of course, you know, it's it's going to be the Yankees, but still I checklist verify them. You guys know how I am about it. I just do it and that's how it goes. <laughs> I just, I do it even though we all know the answer to it. I still do it. Um, base rookie and emerging stars. There we go. Aaron Judge, New York Yankees. Very good. So now we'll go ahead and write that on there and make it all nice and official and then recap our hits. So Aaron Judge for the Yanks in the, uh, it's going to be this card, you know, that type of card uh, in the magenta parallel, which is probably what I'm calling the hot pink, so that'll be to 75, I think. Let's pick one of those up. No, that one says to 99, so maybe it's going to be to 99. Either way, it's going to be a relatively low number for Aaron Judge. Our nice silver signings of uh, Ben and Tendi to 99 for the Red Sox, which is a great hit. One of two nice patches. This one headed to the Dodgers, numbered to 25, and... Uh, it's, of course, the, the numbering on that is the lowest, but I really think I like the patch better on the one numbered to 50, which is the Blake Snell here for the Rays. And I don't know why. I just kind of do like that patch better. Then we have the patch of Hunter Renfro to 149 for the Padres. And patch signature. Of course, the other one had the signature on it, too, as you saw. Luis uh, Severino to 199 for the Yankees. For the A's, who seem to get a hit in pretty much everything I've opened, every case I've opened, they've had a hit in it. Matt Olson for the A's to 299. Seth Lugo for the Mets to 299. Ty Block to 299 for the Giants. Orlando Arcia for the Brewers to 99. 
Jake Thompson for the Phillies to 299. Another Severino for the Yankees. This one numbered to 50. Joe Musgrove for the Astros to 75. Well, yeah, I guess I guess that's technically red. I'm going to say the other, the one to 99 probably is magenta. So I think your Aaron Judge probably will be to 99. Alex Bregman for the Astros, nice hit to 199. Manny Margot for the Padres to 99, and Ronaldo Lopez, White Sox to 249. And that is it, and the recap for our case break of Inception Baseball. So let's bring up spreadsheet and take a look and see what's coming next. Of course, I got to get myself switched over there too, right? So that we have an idea. Oh, it looks like it's going to be our football jersey. So that'll be another one that. Uh, this one won't take very long, of course, and this is a 2017 Hit Parade uh, jersey. And I'm just putting on there, this is the third time we've broken a 2017 Hit Parade jersey, and I'm just going to keep that going sequentially regardless of what the series of the jersey is, but I did make a note that it's Series 19. And then, of course, we have our team names down the left, winning bidder names down the right-hand side. Anything that says no bids buyback just means that is an unloved, unwanted team. And if anything were to come out for that team, it would just have to hang out here with me. And there we had one unpaid team in here, and that was the Miami Dolphins. And, you know, the spreadsheet is finalized with probably um, anywhere from like 7 to 10 minutes before the break. The spreadsheet is finalized. So if payment comes in in that little gap time... Um, you know, it's it's still going to be reflected on the spreadsheet as unpaid because, um, you know, at that point I'm, I'm finishing setup and I can't, uh, I, I don't have time to go back and access email and all that at that point in time. So, is that going to be, oh, surely not. Is that going to, it is Joe Flacco. I was like, is that going to be Joe Flacco? And it is Joe Flacco. So there you can see uh, the authentication, and there is the Flacco signature. And this actually, I wonder if this is a, this might be an authentic as opposed to a custom jersey. It certainly has a lot of heft to it. And I'm trying to get a good look at it. Well, that's just, uh, I'm terrible with folding these and getting them back in there, so we're not going to totally, totally unfold it. We're just going to unfold it a tiny tiny little bit and see if we can get a yeah that looks I mean that looks like a fairly authentic jersey it may still be custom I don't know but it did have a tag in it a laundry tag in it that said XL so either way it's a nice jersey it's a nice weight and of course it is signed by Joe Flacco and authenticated so that is headed off to the Baltimore Ravens in this break with the Flacco jersey I've got a friend who would be uh, envious of that. Well, she probably wouldn't be envious of it, but her her uh, nephew certainly would be. Now, you know me, I'm a Steelers fan, so for me, Ravens are like, ah, but, <laughs> but it's only because they're our, just because they're our uh, division rival. Now, let me get our spreadsheet back up again, and we're going to take a look at the next break, which is a half case of TriStar autographed mini helmets, and this is the 10th time that we have done that particular break. And I had one team on here that it was unpaid, and that's the Oakland Raiders. And I'm kind of disappointed that they were unpaid because this is a, uh, you know, this is a big break. And that was a relatively, um, I mean, it wasn't an inexpensive bid. So it's always kind of disappointing when people bid on things and then don't pay for them. But we will see what comes out of here. And I've got, this case is huge, so that's why it's sitting in the floor. You can, uh, it's way too big to set up on the table. But it is a new case that we're starting tonight. So I did not have the boxes open and out already. Now let me grab half of the, half of our boxes out of this case. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. Next week... We're going to do a little, we're going to have a little diversity next week on mini helmets. Um, first off, the 2017 mini helmets for, oh, i got to move the rest of that case, for uh, Leaf are supposed to come out next week. So if they do, we'll have some of those to open up over the weekend. 
I also traveled back in time a little bit and bought us a 2012 Leaf Mini Helmet. And you say, oh, why didn't, you know, you're probably thinking, why did I go back and buy one from way back then? Because it has some really good signature possibilities in it, like Ben Roethlisberger and, uh, and Jerome Bettis and Peyton Manning. And it had a lot of, uh, it has a lot of good stuff in it out of that 2010 or 2012 box. So we're going to do that. And we're also going to do a Gold Rush helmet. So we're going to do some individual helmets, but lots of different ones next week trying to get this back where we can see it good enough and there is your signature for the Texans and this is Brian Cushing so first hit is for the Texans with the Brian Cushing mini helmet did I already cut the plastic on the rest of these I guess I did and now I'm just trying to go through and do it again but I've already done it once but I forgot to cut the little seal, so yeah, so much for that. I'm still going to need the little utility knife on everyone, I guess. I believe we're getting ready to come out for the Chiefs right now. Yep, we have got a Kansas City Chief up next. And that signature is Will Shields. And that is hard to get where you can see the signature all that well. But um, Will Shields, that's a hard name to say for some reason for me. It looks like he was elected to the Hall of Fame in 2015. And he is the Chief. So, so far we're a Texan and a Chief on our mini helmets. Um, no, Dave, we have not done Finest yet. We had a case of Inception Baseball that went first. We just finished it. And then we did the jersey, which came out as Joe Flacco for the Ravens. Now we're doing the half case of mini helmets. And then that will be... Um, I think maybe finest is after that, but honestly, I'd have to look at the spreadsheet to tell you for sure. Next up, we have a cowboy. Now, I do realize that right there, it says Colts Hall of Fame 94, and I don't really know why. I think that's just a typo, because clearly this is a cowboy's helmet, and it says cowboys on the bottom, and it says cowboys all over the card. I don't know why that sticker says Colts, but it shouldn't. So, you know, clearly we're going with the helmet itself is a cowboy, marked on the bottom as a cowboy, and the little identification card, also cowboys. So, don't know why that says that, but that is incorrect. Randy White for the cowboys. It's helmet number three. Yeah, I know he's, I mean, I know he was never anything, Rob, but a cowboy, so I'm saying, I don't know why that says Colts on there. Like, I have no idea why that would say Colts Hall of Fame, because the guy never played for the Colts. It's just some kind of a typo, but I just, because I noticed it while we were doing it, I wanted to draw attention to it. So, for the Giants is our next signature, and that is Gary Reasons. And I'm not familiar with Gary Reasons, but I'm guessing if you're a Giants fan, you probably are, because he is a Hall of Famer. So we're going to assume Giants fans probably know exactly who that player is. I just personally don't know him. And finally, oh, this is a weird one, because this isn't even in a little case. This is just in here in plastic, which is kind of unusual, but... Um, but anyway, <laughs> and it looks like a college helmet on top of that. And those are always such a mess to try to figure out. And da 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 da, -da. Okay, so Rashawn Salam. And yeah, I don't know the answer to that. Okay, so here's what I've got to do. I'm going to have to roll over here into, uh, into uh, NFL.com and try to figure out, like, who this guy is or where this helmet should go let me rephrase that and since he is going to be retired um and this is a collegiate helmet this is going to go to you know if this let's say this product had been from whatever year he was drafted if this had been a mini helmet from whatever year the guy was drafted then he would have, you know, it would have been treated with him being a rookie that year. But given that this is a 2017 product and the guy is retired, it's going to go to the team that he played for the longest. And it looks like he played for two different teams. So let's see, or more than two teams. 
but only one did he play for for multiple years, and that appears to be the Bears from 1995 to 97, as he split his time in 99 with the Browns and the Packers, and then he was with the 49ers uh, in 2003 on the practice squad. So Chicago Bears uh, appears to be, that is who drafted him, and that is who he played for the longest. So this little uh, Salam helmet here is headed to the Bears. Which, yeah, I see, Antonio, now you, I see that you say that in chat. Of course, I didn't have that screen up. I was over in Google looking this guy up, so sorry. <laughs> but either way, you know, I still would have verified it because I'm weird like that. So our hit for the Bears, our uh, Rashawn Salam, Gary Reasons for the Giants, our Randy White helmet coming out for the Cowboys, even though it has that weird sticker on there that says Colts. That is not correct. It is Cowboys. Kansas City Chiefs with the Will, Will Shields. No idea why I can't seem to say that name very easily. And then Brian Cushing for the Texans. So that was uh, that is our half case of, of mini helmets for tonight. And let me just get them back where they go in their boxes here. And then we will get started on the next one. So the back half of this case, which... Honestly, I don't know if I have listed yet or not. I meant to, but I don't know if I did get it listed yet. So if I didn't, um, I will get that listed to end in the next, uh, you know, four or five days probably. Because, and this will be the last of the of this series of TriStar that I have. Because after that, as I said, we're moving into some cases of Leaf Mini Helmets, which open, uh, which come out, I believe, this upcoming week towards the end of the week and then we've got some kind of individual mini helmets that will be that we will also be opening from past years and gold rush which is a different 2017 series and some fun stuff like that all right so mini helmets are all packed away happily where they should be and that's going to bring us up to 2009 tops finest and that is a one box break of 2009 Tops Finest. And we had several teams in here that were unsold. And of course, they are all designated just no bids buyback. Uh, the teams that were sold, you will find your username across from the team name. One unpaid team. And again, I realize could have come in in the interim, but as of the time it was finalized, is not here yet for, or was not here for the Dolphins. And as before, uh, with the inception, baseball if anybody's jumped in in the meantime i do anticipate that all this stuff that we're breaking tonight most likely will ship out on wednesday some of it could go on tuesday and some of it could possibly go on thursday but my and my expectation is that the bulk of this is going to go out on wednesday and i'm trying to just make sure the ipad the video is frozen up again on the ipad and it does have a tendency to do that. I don't really know why. So, But a chat and everything seems to still be active. So I think we're still okay. And the storming has calmed down. So hopefully we're not going to have any issues with that. That's just some kind of a little advertisement thing. And we have our two mini boxes. I actually have more Tops Finest. I just didn't get it listed. We have I have some Tops Finest from 2014 and 2015 and 2010. Maybe even 2011, but I'm not 100% certain of that. So somewhere uh, in the next little bit, I will get the rest of the Tops Finest listed. So you keep an eye out for those other years to show up somewhere in the near future. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> yeah, Mark Sanchez on the outside of that. I know. But you got to remember, you know, when these guys were drafted in, uh, let's look at a checklist or something. When these guys were drafted in 2009, you know, he was expected to be the big deal. Because they almost always put a quarterback on the box. I mean, like, hardly ever is it not a quarterback. And so he would have been, you know, he was nice high draft pick and they figured he would do well. So you see what happens. <laughs> the wisdom of hindsight, right? Uh, James Davis refractor for um, for who? The Bears, the Browns, numbered to 429 for the Browns. Why did I say the Bears? 
Still got the bears on my brain from uh, the mini helmet. Oh, you're a USC fan. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, so. But you know what? I mean, you just never know. Some guys play great in college, and then they get to the pros, and they just, it's just such a different game. They can't adjust. And then other guys that are so-so in college do fantastic in the league. So no way to predict, really. There's an Aaron Rodgers refractor. And is that one numbered? That one is not numbered. Sean Green is... Uh, a hit from here with material and signature. That is a two-color patch, and the signature is a sticker auto. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I like the card itself. I mean, you know, I was... You probably were hoping for maybe a little different player than Sean Green, but, um, but yeah, that's that's not... Uh, it's, it's a nice card, so it's a nice hit for the Jets. I like any... Any hits, really. Okay, let's just be honest. It's better to get a hit than to not get a hit, no matter what the hit is. Even when I pulled, like, crazy stealers that never did anything when I'm buying into breaks, I'm still I'm still okay when I get a hit, because I'm just like, oh, I got a hit. It makes me happy. <laughs> There's another refractor uh, rookie hit for Robisky, and it is to 143 for the Browns. Adrian Peterson. Be interested to see how he does with his new team after signing his relatively big deal, considering his age. See how he flows down there in that offense with the Saints. Tyson Jackson refractor hit. Number two, 429 for the Chiefs. Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush never quite lived up to his potential either, did he? I mean, not really. But I have to say, I am excited about our Steelers draft class. Larry Fitzgerald, refractor for the Cardinals. I am super, super excited about the Steelers draft classes. More so than I usually am about our draft classes, I'll be honest. And I think Josh Dobbs could turn out to be very useful with a few, a few years behind Big Ben learning. Marion Barber, refractor hit for the Cowboys, numbered to 429. But just in general, I like our draft class. Oh, that's good. That's a big, uh, thick pack. That's going to have a patch or something in it. We're going to wait. We're going to have some anticipation. Let's see what else comes out of here. Matthew Stafford, Matt Castle. Oh, there's a Marshawn Lynch, and it is, uh, that is some kind of pattern, and I don't know what that pattern name would be in tops. So I don't ever remember the pattern names. It's a refractor, obviously, but it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a pattern like you'd see on a, you know, leather on a ball, but anyway, nice uh, Marshawn Lynch refractor for the Bills with the pattern on it that if anybody knows what that pattern should be called, feel free to jump in there and throw it in the chat and I will, and then I will announce it because I do not know it. I'm really terrible with remembering all the pattern names. Oops, that is, um, I set those other two down. Jason Smith is a refractor for the Rams, number 225 on the Jason Smith. So it's definitely possible to get some nice hits out of Finest. Um, let's hope our other one in here is a big one. Lindale White, refractor for the Titans. Why do I keep turning it the wrong way? Numbered to 429. Jay Hushman Zada. Philip Rivers. Oh, there's a Michael uh, Crabtree rookie. Oh, there's a nice hit. There's your Matthew Stafford uh, rookie refractor. So, oh, not numbered, though. Daggone it. Um, for the Lions. I was really hoping that would be numbered for you. But still, uh, the Matt Stafford rookie refractor, nice hit for the Lions. Maybe we'll have Matthew Stafford waiting for us in there, too. Let's hope, right? Uh, Percy Harvin. Oh, that's a nice Heinz Ward, too. 
uh, refractor and of course that same uh, kind of leather grain type pattern that we had uh, on the Marshawn Lynch. So cool hit for the Steelers with the Heinz Ward refractor. I like it. Another Aaron Rodgers. You just heard my little one of my little cats go running through all the wrappers on the floor because uh, that's one of their favorite things to do is make as much noise as possible. And then their second favorite thing to do is to destroy a bunch of things uh, just out of my sight line because they know I can't do anything about it when I'm doing the breaks. <laughs> so, yeah, that's their entertainment. Matt Castle Refractor for the Chiefs, unnumbered. And our hit is Dion Butler. And again, that's a two-color two color materials hit and uh, sticker auto. And that one's headed to the Seahawks. And it is number 210 of 409. It's up there on that top edge. If I can get it at the right angle, perhaps you can see the number on it there. Maybe that angle will work. So that means this, yeah, this was numbered on the top edge too. I don't know if I called it a minute ago. 230 of 309 on the Sean Green. So those are our two hits, which again, these are super nice cards. And even though they're high numbered, they both have uh, two color patches. But we just maybe would have rather had slightly different players like perhaps Matthew Stafford. But that is 2009 Finest. And stay tuned. We will have uh, 2010 and 14 and 15. And I think maybe I have 2011 in there somewhere too that will be listed in the days ahead. Um, I have not done plates and patches yet. That may be the next one up. Um, I don't remember the order they all ended in. Let's see. Yeah, it is the next one up on the spreadsheet is plates and patches. So it is one box of 2010 plates and patches, and it is break number seven, seventh time we've done that box. And again, of course, you see team names down the left, winning bidder names down the right. And there's just a whole gigantic bunch of unsold teams in here, which is kind of unusual for plates and patches. It usually does pretty well, but for whatever reason, uh, nobody was, was loving the plates and patches tonight, so... This is kind of, I mean, this is pretty close to just being a personal box break, right? <laughs> I mean, there are a handful of you in there, so hopefully the hits will go to you guys. Um, but let's see what it holds for us. Let's see what 2010 Plates and Patches is going to deliver us tonight. <laughs> Jordan, it is good to see you. I hadn't seen you in a while, man, so I was glad when I saw your, uh, when I saw your user ID pop up tonight when I was doing the spreadsheet. So I, I never cut through that seal right the first time. So on top will be an encased, good grief, an encased rookie card will be on the very top. And then there'll be some other cards below that. But our first hit is always an encased rookie card. And I was hoping, of course, we'd pull something monstrous out of here. But what we have pulled is Javid Best for the Lions. And it is at least a a three color patch I'm trying to figure out where that would come from that would have to come off the sleeve because there's that little bit of gray and then the black and the white that's almost well I guess it could be around the possibly around the edge of a letter or two I guess or a number but it looks to me like it probably came off the sleeve and the Javid best is numbered to 699 so that's on top of our box and our other cards are down here in this little box and it's such nice packaging in 2010 plates and patches. I've always was a fan of the way they put the packaging together on that one. All right, so we have a mod Bradshaw for the Giants. All of these are numbered. All the base cards even are numbered in here. And it is to $4.99 on the Ahmad Bradshaw. Eddie Royal for the Broncos, numbered to $4.99. Hey, another Steeler. Yay. Go oh, ahead and thought about Jason Worlds in forever. Um, and he is numbered to 100. And I can't get any angle where that number shows up very well. Maybe like that. That's probably about the only angle I think I've gotten where the number showed up on that. Eric Berry for the Chiefs on Rookie Blitz insert card. And it is numbered to 299. 295 of 299 for the Eric Berry. Dominique Curry for the Rams is our first signature hit. I see a dreaded redemption that's going to be coming up here in a moment. That is numbered to 249. 
the stupid redemption, um, of course, is going to be expired, but you still want to redeem it into your account. And after it's been in there five or six weeks, just reach out to Panini and ask them if they still have it. If they do, they'll send it. If not, they will work with you to find something comparable. Oh, nice hit for the Steelers with the Heath Miller. You don't see a lot of Heath Miller materials and a lot of Heath Miller signatures. Um, so you have a nice two-color patch there that's considered a prime patch in uh, 2010 plates and patches. And that is a very nice Heath Miller number to 50 for the Steelers. Can you see that number there? That edge at that angle. I think you can. Maybe it, no. Anyway, Heath Miller hit. Awesome. Way to go, Steelers. Then for the Broncos, we have Kyle Orton, City Limits insert. And there is a little piece of material in there as well. So the Kyle Orton is, where is the number on it? Number to 95, it looks like. 37 of 95, if I'm reading that correctly. I think that is what that says. So, now let's look at our redemption, which is going to set our hits over here. It's going to require this gigantic checklist, because all it says is card set rookie, card number 122. Although, really, I'm probably just going to go online and do the team verification anyway. David Geddes is who is on our checklist there. And let's go. Ah, oh, why is my iPad wanting to be insane with me right now? Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, trying to get back over to the checklist and my iPad is trying to like, I don't know, go wandering down the road or something. It's <laughs> kept taking me the wrong screen. So let's get to the, it, it's a 5 million long drop down menu, but eventually we're getting here. The card set on that, I think, just said rookie, right? Just said rookie, or did it say rookie blitz? No, nope, just says straight rookie. Okay. Come on now. David Geddes, it's going to be numbered to 449, and it's headed off to the Carolina Panthers. So let's write that on here. What did I do with my ink pen? There it is. All right, Panthers. Oh, well, they gave us the space at the bottom. I'm used to the big space being at the top. I'm just going to put to $4.99, and that way you'll know when you get it. Okay, so we have our redemption headed to the Panthers. And as David Geddes to $4.99. Our City Limits materials hit for the Broncos of Kyle Orton, and it was numbered to 95 for the Rams. Dominique Curry, Curry, I don't think I said that right, to 249. I know why I couldn't spit that out. The prime patch for my favorite, the Steelers, Heath Miller, who's like one of my favorites. And the Heath Miller numbered 250. That's just a sweet hit for the Steelers, in my opinion. And then the Javid Best with a nice, uh, nice patch on it for the Lions. And it was numbered 2699. And of course, that one is encased. So that is the whole shooting match for 2010 plates and patches. And I really don't even remember what comes up next after that. Are we at prime signatures after that? We might be. Oh, we're making good time tonight. All right, so let's roll up and take a look at it. This is a half case of 2011 prime signatures, and it's the 19th time that we've broken this in the half case quantity. And I haven't done it in a while. Um, I don't know why. I just kind of didn't get around to 2011 Prime Signatures for a little while. After we had the uh, Cam Newton rookie auto hit out of here, I just kind of didn't, didn't list it for a little while for whatever reason. I just got distracted listing other things, I guess. But it's time for it tonight, so let me reach down here and get it out of the floor. And we can do one of two things here. We can do the right side or we can do the left side of this case. Since it is a brand new, brand new case that we're just getting ready to crack into, you guys can jump in here and tell me, whoever, whoever I see come up first in chat, uh, to tell me right side or left side of the case. That's the side we will go with. There is a tiny little bit of a delay uh, from when you type it and when I see it, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of hanging out here for a second. There we go. Mike's got it up there, saying the right hand side, and Dave says the side filled with the cowboys. <laughs> That's funny. 
Yeah, well, we've pulled some good Cowboys lately. I mean, we pulled that Des Bryant rookie out of 2010 Prestige the other day. And what else? We've pulled some good Cowboys recently. Of course, we pulled the mini helmet tonight for Randy White, which is a solid hit. And I'm sure we've pulled some other Cowboys stuff, too. Those are just off the top of my head. Of course, the Des Bryant sticks with me because it was his rookie, and it was a nice one. Nice unexpected hit in there. Now, why did I just take the plastic off and set the box back down and not take the pack out? That wasn't awfully bright. So, we've got a bunch. I've got a bunch of 2011 Prime signatures here still. So, we will probably uh, we'll do half case break again in a few days and kind of get back in a little bit of a rhythm with it like we were for a while. You know, list it a couple times a week to see what all we can find. So there's some good stuff in here. And of course, I like that all the all the players that were at the uh, you know the rookie premiere are the ones who signed in. For the most part, those are the on card autograph signatures that we find in 2011. Are the are the ones who were invited to the rookie premiere? Y'all hear my chair squeaking? Like I don't know how to fix that. I need to fix it though. It's so I don't know why it squeaks all the time, but every time I move in and it squeaks. Chris Cooley. For the Redskins, which somebody sent me a message the other day that they went to school with Chris Cooley, which was kind of cool. Lance Kendricks to 199 for the Rams is our first hit. <laughs> yeah, Dave, I know. Like you, you're always trying to get the Cowboys, and so I am glad that you got them tonight. And let's hope we find something good for you in here. There's another Chris Cooley. It's Chris Cooley kind of night. Another stupid redemption. We're gonna set it aside. We'll come back to it momentarily. Same spiel as before. Redeem it into your account when you get it. And then, uh, you know, wait. They, they used to do it right away, but apparently now you have to wait um, five or six weeks and then and then uh, reach out to them and they'll work with you on it. Hey, there's a nice Mark Ingram to 199 for the Saints on card auto. Rookie hit. So, cool hit for the Saints with the Ingram. And surprisingly, sometimes on the older cards, they do still have um, the card around. But I think they probably got rid of some of those things through through honors and um, what's the one that replay in basketball. I think they were kind of cleaning out their old, their old unredeemed stuff. I could be wrong, but that's my thought. Not on all of it, but on some of it. Another Steeler with Troy Palomalu. Charlie Trippy for uh, to sixty for the Cardinals. That's old school for sure. Uh, that's a nice veteran hit for uh, the Cardinals with the Charlie Trippy, and that's the first time I think I've seen a Charlie Trippy auto on anything. Honestly, you've been waiting for two years on on a redemption. Oh no, man! If it's been longer than that, go on to. Um, Twitter is the best way to do it, Mike. Go on to Twitter, and the guy's handle is at Panini CSM. At Panini CSM. Hit that guy up and uh, tell him what's going on, and he will he will help you sort that out, man. You shouldn't, there's no reason to wait two years. I mean, unless you just literally want only that player, and that's what you're waiting on, and then, you know, that might be another story. But if you're willing to accept a different card or... Um, you know, even a different player or something, then there's no way you should have to wait that long. Dion Lewis to 199 for the Eagles. And our redemption, rookie signature silver RPS card number 229. We'll look at the name on here, but as before, we're going to also roll into the checklist and uh, pull it up from there. Austin Pettis, and I couldn't tell you jack about Austin Pettis. So... Um, we're going to have to go back to Panini's lovely checklist and, ah, stop doing that iPad. Why do you keep taking me to the wrong page? It's giving me grief. It's making my life difficult tonight. And so again, guys, just, uh, look for all this stuff. I know people are jumping in and out all the time and anybody that's watching from the beginning is probably like, you've said this like three times. I know. But for the benefit of those who have jumped in and out, um, look for this stuff to head out probably in the in the Wednesday to Thursday range. Rookie Signature Silver RPS is what we're looking for. 
and it was card number 229 Austin Pettis it's going to be to 249 for the Rams so let me get that let's get that on there Rams to 249 all right, so let's recap our hits here out of 2011 Prime. Our Redemption headed to the Rams with the Pettis. Am I, is that one? Yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four. That's the fifth one. Yeah, okay. There for a minute, I kind of like lost my mind. Um, but yeah, that's right. <laughs> we have five. Dion Lewis to 199 for the Eagles. The Charlie Trippy for the Cardinals to 60. And that really is a pretty cool hit for the Cardinals. Mark Ingram, that's a real nice hit for the Saints, to 199 with the on-card auto. And then Lance Kendricks to 199 for the Rams. So the Rams with a couple signature hits out of there. And that is 2011 Prime Signatures. Now we're going to do our nightly random. If I could get the iPad to start playing again, that would be so super awesome. But sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate with me. So on sheet number two, I have everybody over here in one big list, which I can then just copy and paste. And this is from all the breaks tonight, um, from Inception Baseball onward. And that's just so we don't have to go through the trauma of doing them one at a time like I had to do the other night when I forgot to do that second sheet. Um, last night is when that was because I was dealing with my neighbor's house and her water leak and whatever that was about. So there, that was just scrolling up to show you everybody was in there. We're going to go to random one time. And on top, oh, my vision is terrible tonight. What does that say? Ebooks uh, 21, it looks like. So here's what I need to do. We need to roll back over here for a second and see if that is a baseball or a football bidder so we'll look at baseball first and if we don't see them in baseball then we know it's going to be football because there's just the one baseball break tonight all right do i see him i do not see him do you guys see him in there i don't see him in there so football must be the order of the day yep there he is he was in the jersey break okay so now we're going to go over here and see what out of our little stack you're going to win. And I didn't really count out very many tonight. Um, so let's just, I, I mean, I kind of just grabbed a hunk. I didn't really even count them, but I know there's at least five there. So we're just going to do one through five. And it comes up with number one right off the top. So that is going to be super easy as soon as I figure out where I sat them. Oh, that's basketball. Where did I sit there? That's baseball. Oh, here's football. Good Lord. All right, so that was number one, top of the stack on football. So this is coming to e Buxa, and this is Jace Amaro with the Jets. Dirty laundry insert and materials hit, of course. Uh, rookie card out of 2014 Prism, and doesn't appear to be numbered that I'm seeing on there. So if you have um, anything shipping to you, e Buxa, this will come with that. If there's nothing shipping out of any of these breaks tonight, then I'll hang on to this for uh, probably about another five, six days. And if you still don't have anything else shipping to you at that point, then this guy will, will show up uh, by himself. So that's kind of how that works. And that is, that's it, guys. That's the whole, that's the whole break for tonight. So as always, thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. You hanging out, spending your time and your money with me. And I hope that I will see you again on a future break. And good night to you too, Dave. Thank you. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.